Hi there, and welcome to my new channel, Second Hand Sailor. And we're going to, today we're going to have a look at a She 31, which is very similar to a Contessa 32. The She 31 is a classy girl with great performance and lovely lines. This Sparkman and Stephen design has definitely stood the test of time. Owners of the She 31 smile safe in the knowledge that they have a special yacht which shares with the Contessa 32 many admirable traits that doesn't command the premium that the Contessa does. The She 31 was produced by South Hence Engineering with the company's initials giving rise to the feminine name. The She 31 was built under the IOR handicap system, thus SNS succeeded in producing an extremely attractive yacht that performed excellently in competition. She's got lovely lines, as you can see. Lovely, lovely lines. And she comes to a little point at the back, which is so pretty. It's a real shame. Real shame. Because these apparently were just good as contestants and maybe even better. They're great design. And a uh, very special boat. Here's a better view of the uh, cockpit. Which I kind of like. Uh, oh! Oops. Let's start again, eh? <laughs> yeah. This is a cockpit, and uh, you can fit about, really about six people, six, seven people, so there's only sitting there. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that would be a party, eh? Okay? We can have a groovy party, we have a good time with seven people, that's for sure. We can have a good time just with two, probably, but we're not going to talk about that, no, no, no. <laughs> wow. This is so smooth. The uh, tiller, it's marvelous. It's so, so, so smooth. So the bearings feel good. It's, it's almost, you can, you can just touch it with one little finger and it moves. Can you see that? That's quality. Let's take a peek in the Lazarette. See what horrors lying here, under here. <laughs> okay, right, okay. John. Hello, John. Let's look in the rear Lazarus. Okay. What's in here? What are these? I don't know what these are. They look like fenders to me. Just old little fenders. Old. There's a lot of water in here. A lot of water in there. Oh, okay. I don't know what this is. It must be a running light or something like that. It's, it's nice. And you can see the deck is kind of nice and wide. Nice. Yeah, it's quite wide. Good handholds and everything like that. It's got everything you need there. And that's the uh, bow with the windows as well. The mast. Well, the interior is very interesting. Let me get down there and have a, have a look and have a mess around with everything. Okay, oops. Turn up, knock over the camera. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. 
I can push this forward so you get really good access, you can hold on to it and get yourself down, that's nice. Oh dear. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the, the mould on, on the roof. Through here. This is the post where the uh, mast comes. Here's the engine, and apparently it's uh, running and it's in good condition. It does look in good nick. The belts are tight. Uh, um, this is the galley. Yeah, this one. Uh, it's uh, on the gimbal. It's on the gimbal. Look. That's quite handy. I just don't know if I should go for it or not. Will you tell me in the comments because I've got no idea. These were these were these were built brilliantly. These boats, but this one it looks a bit like shabby. It really does look shabby. The, the build, the quality of the build, and everything like that. I think it was hand finished by somebody. Um, the manual build pump. She's um, been a, a wrecker in a way, so. <sighs> Let me sit down a bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a bit down now. I can really chill down and relax, man, relaxed. Anyway, it's a real downer, but she's not for me. No, it's too much wrong with her. It's nice, she's got a little, little, little nice propeller and nice bits here and there, but I just can't do it. I really can't. Um, when it comes to keels and uh, that one looks, there's a big big crack that goes all the way, all the way around it. The keel bolts are shot anyway because there's, there's water, there's water in there and uh, so um, you know it's, it's a foregone conclusion that I won't be able to take her and uh, oh well, such is life. I'm going to see that Van der Stadt Pioneer 9 on Sunday. So come with me and we'll have some fun, alright? Take it easy, see you soon.